Hi everyone, we're going to identify uh, the graphing form, graphing information, and then graph these linear equations. This is part one, and there's six problems here. So this is, I'll just put it like that, part one. So basically the graphing form means what form the equation is in. This is called slope intercept form. So the graphing form is slope intercept form. And from here, we can get our information. My slope is 1 half, and I'm just going to write my slope as m. And my y-intercept is 3, but I'm not going to write it that way. I'm going to always write my intercept as 0, 3. That's what an intercept means. It means it crosses an axis, the x or y, in this case the y. So in the future ones, I'm just going to write them this way. Okay, so basically I'm going to first graph the y-intercept, which is 0, 3, which is right there. And then from here, I'm going to do my slope, which is rise over run, which is basically your y over your x. So you're going up. They're both positive. That means we're going uh, up and to the right. So I'm going to go up 1 over 2. I can keep doing that. Up 1 over 2. Up 1 over 2. Now... I also can go down 1 to the left 2 because 2 negatives make a positive and that still gives us that slope. So I'll go down 1 from my y-intercept, down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2, and then you connect the disconnected dots. So you connect it, and again it's hard for me to write on this iPad a little bit, but there's your graph. Okay, so the next question we have is, um, or the next problem we have is this one. This one is called intercept form. Okay, this one's actually called uh, point slope form. So I'm going to write point slope form. And I'm going to get my point from here and here. So basically, uh, this is the distance from zero here. So my point, the information is, and you kind of do the opposite. Basically, what you're doing is you set this to zero. And that means y is zero. I mean, y is three. So your y is three. And you set this to zero. So your x is 2. So there's your point, and then your slope is right there, which is m equals 2 thirds. So I plot my point. Um, we're going to graph this. I plot my point, which is 2, comma 3, which is right there. And that's where I'm going to start from here and um, do my slope like we did last time. It's positive here, so it's going to go up. So this is a uh, rise over run, which equals y over x. And I'm going to do like I did in the other one. So from my point here, 2 comma 3, I'm going to go up 2 over 3 and put a point. I can do it again. I guess 1, 2, 2, 3. The more you do it, the... Uh, that your line looks better. Now I also can write it as negative 2 over negative 3 because that still equals 2 over 3. And so from here, my original point, I can go down 2 over 3. Again, I'll do one more. Down 2 over 3. Oops, I did 2. And then you connect the dots little arrows here and there's your graph okay this one is a horizontal line form
and just you could write this in slope intercept form. We could write this as y equals 0x plus 3. And that kind of helps you graph this. So you know your y intercept is 3. And your slope is 0. That we're still going to call this as a horizontal um, line form. So we're going to uh, go to my y-intercept, which I'm going to go ahead and write as 0, 3. And my slope is 0. And I can write this over anything. So we're, we're not going up or down. I can write this over any number. So if I write it as 0 over 3, it would be up 0, but over 3. Up 0 over 3. You know, and you could you're just drawing that horizontal line like that. So this line is y equals three. You could have put a two because then it would be um, you're not going up or down, you're just going over twos. You still get the horizontal line. Okay, the next one is slope intercept form, which is my favorite. So we're gonna write slope intercept form. So my slope is uh, 4. I'm going to go ahead and write that in fraction form. And my y-intercept is 0, comma, negative 5. Or you can just write y-intercept equals negative 5. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is uh, plot my y-intercept with 0, comma, negative 5, which is here. My slope is 4 over 1, so I'm going to go up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1. You can keep doing that, 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1. You can go down 4 over 1, and that's as far as we can go on that one. And if I want to do it again, I'll go back up to here, 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1. That just helps make your line straighter. It's a steep slope because 4 is a bigger number. Uh, this is hard. It's supposed to be a straight line. Act like that's a straight line. And there's your graph. Okay, two more. This one is in standard form. So we're going to write standard form. And what we're going to get from here are the intercepts, the x and y intercepts. What I like to do is like this little tic-tac. I call it tic-tac. So I want to know what my answer is when x is 0, what is y. And I also want to know when y is 0, what is x. So I'm going to plug in 0 here. So I'm going to do it over, I'll do it down here. I get uh, 3 times 0 plus 2y equals 6. This just equals 0. And just looking at that, you know, 2 times 3 is 6, or you can divide both sides So uh, by 2. So when x is 0, y is 3. Now we're going to do this one. We're going to input the 0 into the y. So we get 3x plus 2 times 0 equals 6. This goes away, and we know 3 times 2 equals 6, or you could divide both sides by 3. So basically, when y is 0, x is 2. So now I'm going to plot this, my two uh, intercepts. My This is your y-intercept. If you want to write it that way, you can write it. That's your y-intercept. This is your x-intercept. And hopefully I have room here. So 0, 3 is your y. 2, 0 is your x. And what we're going to do is connect those two um, points. Whoops. Sorry. I'm right-handed, so this is a little harder. And there is your equation of the line, the graph. And one more. This is your vertical line form. This is not a function.
and all you're going to know is your x-intercept equals uh, negative 5. So you can write it this way, or you can just say x-intercept equals negative 5. So we're going to go uh, negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's negative 5 here. And then you just draw a vertical line. And please know these forms. These, these vertical and horizontal line forms are important. Okay? Part 2 is going to be uh, the same thing with just different equations. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.